What's going on everyone? It's Sean with another Tesla video and in this one I'm going to talk through the route that I will most likely be taking for the Model 3 Hyper Mile Adventure. So let's go ahead and switch to the screen share and I'll show you the planned route, the potential route, and then the escape route. So I've got three versions and I'll talk through all three of those and my thought process behind them. I'll also talk about elevation change because that one is that one will be a factor that will work to my advantage in this particular trip. All right, so let me just zoom in a little bit here. So this will be best case scenario here. I'll be starting off at a supercharger in Denver on the east side of town. I'll be driving east and actually, in my initial video talking about the uh, Hypermile Adventure, I I mentioned that I would be driving through Nebraska. It's actually Kansas. That was my mistake. This has been the route the whole time. I just misspoke. So I'll be driving east on Highway 36, and that will take me actually pretty much the whole trip. Now, this would be a best case scenario. As I mentioned in the first video, I don't really know how far the Model 3 is going to go. So best case scenario, let's say it goes 762 miles on a single charge. This would put me in Columbia, Missouri. Now the time is of course inaccurate because it's factoring in the actual uh, speed of the road or highway that I'll be traveling on. Of course, I'll be traveling quite a bit slower, but the miles will be pretty close to accurate. So this would be, I think, a, a best case scenario for me. As mentioned in the last video, I know that the world record is held by a 100D Model S and it traveled 670 miles on a single charge. So if, if I were to make it to Columbia, I will surpass that record by nearly 100 miles. Now let's talk about a worst case scenario. Worst case scenario is, let's minimize that, zoom in a little bit. So starting from the same spot, but let's say worst case scenario, I only get to 614 miles. I don't think that's going to be the case, but we'll see. I can drop down into Kansas City and reach a supercharger by 614 miles. Now, if, if I know that I'm not going to make it to Columbia, I obviously will, let's say that I have more than 614 miles, but not enough to make it to Columbia, my strategy will be to head back west from Kansas City, Missouri to Topeka, Kansas, where there, where there is another supercharger. Now that route, that route is 86.7 miles. So if I total up the miles that it took me to get from Denver to Kansas City, plus the miles from Kansas City to Topeka, I will have gone 693 miles. If for some reason I don't make it to Topeka, or it looks like I'm not going to make it to Topeka, I am scouting out some additional charging stations. As a fail-safe, I can drop into Pawnee, no, sorry, Lawrence, and I do have some charging stations here. So I do have some options here. I'm going to have a best case scenario, worst case scenario, and then my fail safe option. Now let's touch on elevation change because as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, that will be a factor in this trip. Um, I'm going to switch to bike here because it'll show me the elevation change. So if you look here bottom left, I'll be starting off at 5,669 feet. And if I reach the best case scenario, which would be Columbia, Missouri, I will be at 545 feet of elevation. So there's quite a bit of elevation change there. And I think this will work to my advantage and will propel me past the world record of 670 miles set by the Italian Tesla Club last year. Now, what happens if the car makes it past 762 miles? I don't know. I guess I should have an option that's even further than best case scenario. In fact, let's pull up Tesla's supercharging map. We'll close this out. So if I keep heading east and things are just going really, really well, which I don't think so, but let's say they are, 
I'll reach the uh, St. Louis area, which it looks like that's probably another, I don't know, 100 miles. What are your thoughts? How far do you think I'll go? Put it in the comments down below. Do you think I'll make it to Columbia, Missouri? Do you think I'll make it further than Columbia? Or do you think I'll have to turn back west and head to Topeka, Kansas? Would love to hear your thoughts on how far you think I'll go. That's it for this one. I'll probably do another update video tomorrow on Sunday after I pick up the Model 3. What I need to determine is what is the best speed to travel at with the Model 3 to get the highest amount of efficiency. So I'll do some test runs on the same road, the same distance, going the same direction to see if, for example, is 22 miles an hour the best speed? Or is it 25? Or maybe it's something higher since the car is a little bit more efficient than the Model S. That video to come. Thanks so much for tuning in and we'll see you on the next one.